described this to. That's how inexperienced I am there. But oh, you and me both, Magic. But we're not here to talk about various species. We're here to talk about this <laughs> top four here between Red 16 and Newman. So Fox versus Wolf. Now this is exciting. This is a matchup I imagine neither of them are strangers to. Yep. No, definitely uh, one that we've already seen, uh, I guess, a couple times tonight as well. And also, LeBriant, we were thinking Guitar Hero 3, but we're going to do cl Clone Hero. So it's got all the different Guitar Hero versions in there, so more songs as well. Oh, very exciting stuff. Make sure to brush up on your skills there, guys. Oh, yeah. A chance at the prize there. <laughs> all right. Now, as we hop into this game one of Winter cool. Finals, we've got Red 16 rocking the Green 16, of course. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. It's so funny. Oh, and actually, yeah, it's funny. Um. I guess Mewman is Panther, so I've been saying Panther. I haven't been saying Mewman, but they're gaming. They're still gaming, and uh, they gamed a little bit too hard there. You know, they lost their stock a little bit early. Yeah, you got to be a little careful not to get too overzealous, but also, especially against a player like Red16, who's just always on top of you, calling out the hard punishes whenever necessary, and just not letting you get away with anything antsy. Yeah, very well deserved on this winner's side here for winner's finals there. A lot of close sets here today. Damn, and that up smash just as close, you know, almost taking that stock. Oh my god, that second one there. Oh, nice catch with that backer. You know, I saw some pretty crazy wolf shenanigans throughout the day between Red 16 and iModders. Like, I can't believe one of them I remember distinctly. Uh, one of the wolves, they back aired the other one, and they were at 79% after hit and just dead. No DI in the world could save Somebody, them. Yeah, honestly, it's so devastating how strong that back air is. It's kind of crazy. Like, with everything he's got, and with that air drift and mobility there. Oh my god, what the? That upbeat? It's, it was an interesting <laughs> choice. I yeah. mean,. I don't know. I've been seeing some of the Spaces players today just throwing out some upbees in neutral when they probably shouldn't be. <gasps> oh, Shine Spike. No that way. Was very well played on Newman's part there. Yeah, I'm really surprised uh, Green16 opted to do the back air off stage. Like, he had so many different options in his moveset that he can just, you know, easily take a Fox at a 130. He did not need to go so risky. No, I guess it's just like... I don't know. Wolf is better at edge guarding than Fox, I think it's safe to say. But in terms of like going low like that, Fox's shine spike, it stalls him the first time he uses it, you know? So it's like, yeah. it's a really great awareness there from you, man, to get that counterplay real quick. Oh. Very important. Very well said there, Taya. You know, I do agree with what you're saying. And um, clearly, it's working out well for Panther still. You 164? No stall in there, though, and no two frames. Yeah, it's just, um, he's oh. antsy to get this game over with, as you can see. He's got nearly 100% on Red 16 there, but the dash attack is going to cost him his stock there. Yeah, that up smash, though, with that rage, oh, baby, that would have killed. But hey, we don't need that rage with an up air like that. Oh, That's a nice not. setup. Oh, yeah. Is that out of the up tilt there, too? Looked like it, and I believe he caught Red 16's jump, too. Like, looked like he was a bit eager to jump back to center stage. True. And uh, Muman was just there, ready for the punish, and he took game one. I don't want to say super convincingly, but I mean, one stock without any damage left, it's a pretty solid way to close out a game. Yeah, I'd agree with that, Taya, and as well, I, maybe the reason it didn't feel super convincingly is simply because Red got gimped at like 40%, right? Like, That's if, right. if that didn't happen, a different story there. Also, I love looking at the lights in the player cam there. It looks great on Panther's side there, or Newman, I should say. Yeah, shout out to the ABB team for putting up all these festive little Christmas lights throughout the venue. Really getting us into the holiday spirit there, and of course with the uh, change to the logo as well, which I believe was done by our very own Kinky Oats, right? The, uh, yeah, the wreath yep, yep. design, which is... The wreath design. Oh, you noticed yeah, it, Ty. Yeah, beautiful. It's, I think it's a nice touch there, taking that gim branding there, and just give it that festive holiday spirit there as well. Oh. I love all the winter-themed uh, course music. Oh, like, yeah. Uh, intermissions. Oh, my oh goodness. Oh, my gosh. Almost as much as I love seeing Red 16 catching people that down smash there when they miss their tech. It's the classic Red 16. Oh, damn. Oh. Panther actually recognizing and taking that landing option there and kicking him in the face in return. Although, you know, bringing up the Wolves before, I monitors, I wasn't seeing as much of the, uh, the hard commits to the tech situations there. He was doing a lot of, like, get his damage. And just kind of wait, you know. Yeah, but red, red goes in. He, he like kills himself many times going off stage for crazy, crazy stocks. Yeah, he did a last game, literally. <laughs> he just wants that like uh, additional bit of mental damage there, you know, taking yeah. you out in a very dominating fashion and not letting you even feel like a semblance of hope. You know, it's like I'm chasing you down to the blast zone. As Andros said to Fox, you know, if I go down, I'm taking you with me. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and oh my God, you can see. Red is, I don't want to say he's a villain, but he's playing like the villain with this, you know, all these edge guarding situations and back airs I was going to say before, but damn, I didn't want to do the commentator's curse, but you know. I think that was a commentator's blessing. Hey, yeah, we got to view it like that, right? <laughs>
You said it, Magic. Now then, we've got a red 16, hoping to get back on stage. Whoa, all right, he's acting like light out here with those uh, up taunts between stocks there. I like it. Okay, yeah, gotta, once again, that mental damage, right? I love taunting. I should probably bring it back. Wario's got some nasty taunts laughing at your opponent directly in the face like. <laughs> oh, it's very good. I'm a big fan of the Wario taunts. Oh, my goodness. Wow. What a catch there the, from Human. Yeah, the two frame there. That was so well done. You don't see it too often with Fox down smash, but if you're confident, especially against Spacey's, it's kind of like that, not like rinse and repeat timing there, but it is kind of predictable. It's, it's always the same animation, right? Yeah, and they're, um, in regards to the spaces, all three of them, nine times out of ten, they're pretty precise with, you know, hitting the ledge with with their uppies, of course. Mm -hmm. But that just was a really well-timed down smash from Panther, or Muman, I should say, to catch the wolf recovery there. Granted, the side beast Punisher is, uh, or is easier to punish, excuse me, because Wolf's head sticks above the stage like when he goes up. Yeah, you know? uh, there is that big kind of window on the uh, snapping of the ledge for the two frame there. They give it a little bit more vulnerability. Makes sense, though. Oh, damn. But yeah, if you were to compare these two's down smashes, for example, you know, Wolf's infamous throughout the entire oh game's God. lifespan because of how low it hits, how much damage, and how early it kills it does. And the angle, too. And, like, even just, um, I guess, like, it's kind of big, eh? It goes a little bit far out past the ledge. Oh, very far out. Nothing like Fox is there, which is just, like, very tiny little hitbox in comparison. Mm -hmm. So, again, it just shows how well Panther knows his character. Damn. And also, um, I don't know if that was a poorly timed on Red 16's part or if Panther was just out of there quickly, but great punish with that up smash out of shield. Wow. I, um, you know, I feel like Red can definitely bring this back, but Panther is just destroying this set so far. He ate some pizza right before, and he is powered up, ready to go. You can tell. Oh, that's the power of the pizza there for you. Yeah, pizza time indeed. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, nice. Shooting him out of the dash pack there. Good narrow to shield. Fending him off. And now we're going to see a down throw. All right. He's trying to set up some pressure with that blaster shot. That was a really good high recovery there from Human. Definitely. Like, you don't see it too often that Fox Illusion can actually pay off from up there. He doesn't do the drag down forward air combos. I haven't seen him go for it, but you know what? He doesn't need it, clearly. 73% lead here, Taya. It's, it's looking rough for Red 16. Yeah. He's, his percentage is climbing now, and uh, Panther was in a really good spot there, but now Red 16 has actually broken through his defense a little. Oh, oh very nice cross up there to avoid the up smash out of shield. Very good awareness, because that's how he lost his stock last time. Yeah, no, exactly. Not you know, the same mistake twice. Adapting on the fly there like that, that's that sign of a top player here. That's why they're in top four winners finals and at a 40-man bracket here, you know, it's very stacked, quality players all around. Is this not like the largest ABB, like non-regional event to date, Magic? Um, I mean, I feel like weeklies back in the day, I remember breaking 50 at one weekly, but like, <laughs> It definitely wasn't this quality of player before, you know? Oh, yeah. Because this is, like, ridiculous. You know, best players from all across Ontario and even upstate New York coming out. So it's definitely breaking records. I got I to gotta fact check, though. It could be. You could be right on that one, Taya. We'll find out. But nonetheless, let's quickly see how this game goes as Red16 has found himself in the lead for the first time in this set. Yeah. Damn, I was too focused on going over the analytics here and uh, missed that second stop. He took, oh, my God, and catching the landing again. Uh -huh. He's got to keep it going, you know. All right, nice catch with the fourth throw. All right, but Panther's not going down without scrapping first. Fox wow. illusion right into the up tilt. Wow. That's so funny. Yeah, he did do the up tilt right into the illusion there, or like backwards too. I'm kind of surprised it hit him that way. I don't know if that was just some big brain stuff from Red 16 or not, <laughs> but I wouldn't doubt it knowing him, you know. Oh, yeah. And that was a pretty convincing game two, or game three, I should say. Red 16 actually two stalking Panther, who did not do that to either of him, either him in either game prior. It's true, worth noting. It's true, and you know, Red always has the Kazuya to pull out if he needs. I don't know if he's going to do it today. He's his wolf's looking nice. Oh yeah, it's but. tried and true, you know. He's had many different side pick characters over the months. We've known him. Oh yeah, true. Actually, he had the Roy. Who's I've the lost Roy? to all yeah. of them. It's been a pleasure, but you know. Uh, I think the wolf is definitely the classic one. That if anyone sees that character, you just think Red 16, you know? Oh, you and me both, Magic. I couldn't agree more. Like, there's some characters in this game that just... Oh, wow. As you were saying that, that was so good. Oh, my God, that down smash hit. I'd say they were moving in sync right there, Red 16 and Wolf, just covering all of Panther's options. Mm -hmm. It was quite absurd. And now, you know, it's a pretty close game. Uh, Panther actually breaking through there. Quick little jab. Oh, I like that. Uh, whiff punished. Oh, my gosh. Fade back. It's, it was pretty cool seeing the Nair push him off the platform and also jab lock and, like, keep the combo going. Like, what a great move. 
But, you know, that's the Hungi right there. But I don't know. We might have to call it the Panther, you know, seeing that Nair up smash there. Nah, see, to me, the Hungi is like the Nair run forward up smash. Panther True. to Nair, like, turn around, run behind him up smash. <laughs> the subtle differences here. <laughs> yes, exactly. of course, Ty. <laughs> All right, attempted to catch him with a little up smash there. Now Red 16 is playing from behind for the first time since last game. Oh my gosh. Ooh, scary situation to be in the corner like that. Ooh. Back air to quickly stuff him out like a flame. God damn, it's such a strong move. Oh, that's uh, some looking, or some small shield, I was going to say that. It looked like a shield poke situation. Might be back by now. Red's been taking so much damage off stage. Oh yeah, and Muman had all the time in the world to just chill on ledge, but a shield quickly regenerate. We're gonna see a down throw dash attack combo. Classic from Wolf, of course. I like that wave bounce blaster shot there. Oh, oh man. Dude. Trading theirs now. Going well with the Firefox, not getting the down smash, sadly. I always feel like the F tilt, it's just uh, easier to time. But I guess, as we said, Red loves that high risk, high reward. And if you get that down smash at someone at 70, you probably would have died. Woo! No doubt about it, Magic. Up smash coming in clutch again. That's majority of Panthers kills this set. Oh, that's just how it goes with Fox McCloud in general. You know, it's his most reliable kill confirm. Always has been. Like, the move itself, I, I called it a kill confirm. But, of course, an air up smash, too. True, yeah. Uh, the drill down air and up smash. The I drill down air, that one's yeah. so scary. Oh, what? wow. Nice air dodge punish coming up from Muman. And we're going to see a side B into three up airs now. Make it four? Okay, no, no. Great, oh you know. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, both players are swinging there. Okay. Then Red 16 swiping left harder than me seeing my ex on Tinder. Cool. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, get him out of here. Get that F tilt there and... Okay, oh. oh. Man, this is really close here. Red's got to play perfectly. Oh my gosh, that was almost an up smash situation there. All right. Now he's just dancing around the shield. Red 16 getting a little antsy with that dash attack. And Muman going to close it out with an up smash. 3 to 1. Hot damn. You know, it was game 4, but it almost felt like a 3-0 with how fast that set was.